this video, I'm going to show you two things. One, I'm going to show you how to merge two PDF files into one PDF file. But because the files I'm merging are different sizes, one of them is an 8.5 by 11 with no bleed, and the other one has bleed, I'm also going to show you how to make sure all the pages in your PDF are the same file by adding bleed to those pages that don't already have it. To merge two different files together in Adobe Acrobat, open one of your files. I recommend doing the one with the most pages in order to have the least amount of rearranging. Once your file is open, go to the sidebar and click on the Organize Pages tab. From here, click on the page that you want to add pages after or before, and then go to the Insert tab at the toolbar. You can insert from an existing file, or you can insert a blank page and replace it. In this case, I'm going to insert another file. Now if I go and change my view to a two-page view, and close out of the organize. Now you can see that the page on the left, which does not have bleed because none of the elements go to the edge, is smaller than this page on the right, which does have bleed because its elements, the lines, do go all the way to the edge. Now I'm going to need to add bleed to this page even though it doesn't need it because all of my pages should be the same size when I send them to a printer like KDP. So to add bleed to these pages, I'm going to go back to that Organize Pages tab here on the right, go to the More tab on the toolbar, and go to Set Page Boxes. You can also use the shortcut, which is Shift-Command-P on a Mac. From here, go down to the Change Page Size section and add your custom file. So because this is an 8.5 by 11 page that needs a .125 bleed on the outside edges. My width is going to be 8.625 and my height is going to be 11.25. Click OK. Now if I close and go back to the reading mode, you can see that the page on the left has been enlarged with bleed to match the other page. This process will work with any pages that need space added to them or their size enlarged. However, it does not work to make a template go smaller. So you'll, you'll want to start with a template that has no bleed and go up rather than the opposite direction. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if there's anything else you need to know to be successful on your KDP journey.